We have now an exclusive segment featuring Mr. K.V. Kumar, the founding chairman and CEO of the Indian American International Chamber of Commerce in Washington, D.C. A proud Indian American, Mr. K.V. Kumar has dedicated his life to volunteer work efforts across the nation, having done more than 147,000 hours of volunteering over the last 16 years. Mr. Kumar is also the chairman of the KMF Investment Group and has been a leader in the conversation of economic and trade relationships between India and the United States. The Chamber of Commerce that he heads promotes and fosters economic development of the United States and Republic of India together with the rest of the world for the benefit of all. The Chamber represents hundreds of Indian entrepreneurs and businesses in the country. Calling itself a sustainable platform and leadership forum for entrepreneurs, professionals, businesses and governments, the Indian American International Chamber of Commerce also provides vital resources and support to educate, train and mentor. We spoke with Mr. K.V. Kumar on the Chamber and much more. Here is a segment of the exclusive conversation. Mr. K.V. Kumar, welcome to ITV Gold. Thank you so much for giving us your time today. Thank you very much, Aditi. It is an honor to be here with you. Well, it's an honor to have you because we have a lot of questions for you. There's little time, so let's go right into it, Mr. Kumar. Sure. My first question to you has to be about the Indian American International Chamber of Commerce. You're the founding chairman and the CEO for the foundation, yes. the organization. So the first question to you has to be about, tell us a little bit about this Chamber of Commerce and why did you decide to create it? Take us a little bit back into history about it. I was the Washington DC Tri-State Chapter President of the Indian Indo-American Chamber of Commerce at that time. Mm. We had a visitor from India, Mr. Harishankar Singhania, one of the leading businessmen from India. And he said he thought, you know, US-India relations should be on a national basis. Mm. And he advised me, why don't you create a national organization? Because there are there were some local chair, you know, chair, uh, chambers, mm. and he wanted to have a central, centrally located chamber in mm. Washington, D.C. to coordinate. I thought that was a great idea. Oh, yes, of course. And then tell us about how big is this Chamber of Commerce? How far are you spread? Who do you really represent in that sense? There are 600,000 Indian-American-owned or operated businesses in the United States. Wow. And we hope to capture a major majority of the group of those people. And our chamber went through certain changes over the last 30 years, you know, at different time intervals. And, uh, you know, people didn't take it the way it should have gone. Mm. And uh, in 2017, they summoned me back. The board said, KV, it's your time to really bring it back. Since then, I took over towards the end of 2017, and we started the first chapter of the chamber in Atlanta, wow. Georgia. And very nice of Dr. You know, Kulkarni to host it. And we had the Minister for External Affairs for State, Dr. B.K. Singh, mm. who came and inaugurated that one. We had a lot of other important people from the United States and the state of Georgia. Mm. And from there, we started We started in a chapter in California, one in uh, New York, and one in Arizona. Now we are in the process of starting almost 14 chapters in the nation. Without the COVID, we would have probably have at least 5,000 members by now, mm. but that was kind of set back, set us back. But we do have offices in uh, New Delhi and uh, Kolkata, Mumbai, and Bangalore. Mm. And we are planning to establish offices in Singapore, Dubai, seven African countries and five Latin American countries, wow. and 17 Asian countries, wow. and six European nations. You obviously saw and clearly saw a lack of representation of the community in the world of business and entrepreneurship. Yes. And, um, you know, you have really been focused on that and you're pushing more and more people that in that in that path. When you were founding this uh, Chamber of Commerce, what was something that you definitely saw was missing and what did you want to target? And, and are you happy with where you have reached with that? 
I am not really happy with what we have reached, but we are on the way to great success. And I think uh, your question was, uh, why did we start and what was missing? Yes. The answer is really, we were not very well connected with, between US and India, we were not very well connected. There were bits and pieces of you know, organizations doing things and uh, we weren't really connected and we mainly concentrate with the, sm the growth of small business hmm. businesses and entrepreneurs. And connectivity is the main thing that we are working on. Connecting people um, uh, with businesses, corporations, entrepreneurs, right. the governments together, bringing them together, both within the US, between US and India, between US, India, and the rest of the world. Yeah. And thanks to Dr. Sudhir Parikh, who has been a great asset to us, and he also agreed to take over a new role as the chairman of IAICC PAC, oh, wow. which is going to play a very major role in our you know, chamber to uh, support good candidates mm. at local, state, uh, and uh, national levels. What is your biggest goal with this chamber? The, there is no one biggest goal, right. but there are some, a few business, I mean, few goals, yeah. a few biggest goals. The first one being better U.S.-India relations. With that better relationship, we can accomplish better business dealings, trade and other you know, arrangements between the two countries. <clears throat> but we are not satisfied with just the two countries, between US and India and the rest of the world. That's what we are working on. 